I meant to throw that away. Did you think you were pregnant? I don't know. I just want to be pregnant so bad that my mind plays tricks on me. You know, it's been four years since we started trying. Would you be opposed to me going to see a specialist? No. I'd just like to know what she says. Okay. I thought we were having spaghetti tonight. The stove's not working. You're kidding me. <laughs> so we've got a leak in the back room. The dryer only works half the time. The car's dying on us, and now the stove's broken. That's about right. No wonder I'm losing my hair. I love you. <laughs> Besides, there's other bills we don't normally have to pay. Like what? Like my doctor bill. You saw her today. What did she say? She said that I'm fine, and my numbers are normal, and she saw nothing that gave her concern. That's good. It doesn't mean the problem is with you. What else could it mean? We just may not have given it enough time. Four years? You still hoping we'll have a baby? You know I am. Me too. I catch myself thinking about it more and more. Don't you want to know something's preventing it? Are you afraid of getting checked out? Yes. Grant, I'm still clinging to a hope that one day we'll have children. I imagine them running in this house. I hear them playing in the backyard or running to our bed in a thunderstorm. And I think about reading them stories and teaching them songs. And I just keep thinking, how can I miss someone so much? But I have never met. I'll go. So, so um, what does that mean? I mean, uh, is there a procedure or, um, I mean, what are my options? Grant, first you need to realize this is a fairly common problem for men. There are thousands of couples who are unable to have children. You do have options. Although there's only a 10% chance of success, many couples have tried in vitro fertilization. We can't afford that. Well, the other option is to adopt a child but it's about as expensive either way. If you're interested, I'll put you in touch with a local agency. I realize this is difficult for you to hear, but at least you and your wife can make the best decision now that you know where you are. Brooke, I can't provide you a decent home. I can't provide you a decent car. I'm a failing coach with a losing record. And I can't give you the children you want. What? It's me. Like everything else is me. We can't have our own children because of me. What's God doing? I mean, why is this so hard? Hey, Grant. <laughs> All right, what kind of sick are we talking about? I don't know. I just felt really nauseous the last two mornings. And then I feel fine again. You haven't eaten anything weird lately. 
Not unless fruit and cereal's weird. Brooke, my gut says make an appointment with the doctor. I've been there three times this year. It's getting embarrassing. I'm just telling you what I would do. You can even use my car. here again. Oh, maybe she'll be pregnant this time. I hope so.